Halloween is about to really kick into high gear. As soon as the sun goes down, the trick-or-treaters will be out in full force. And the haunted house has come alive. KCAL News reporter Jeff Nguyen is live at one in Northridge, which attracts thousands of kids. Can you hear that music, Jeff? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Very creepy music. But I've got Leo back here saying hi to me because he's getting ready to uh, go trick or treating. He's got his costume on as we uh, walk through this property. You mentioned some of the scariness. Hey, you can see some of the folks out here. They are hugging each other because there is a madman with a chainsaw. You can see some of the uh, folks out here having a really good fright. This poor little girl, she's got her face covered after going through this ma maze, I should say. Hey, Pat. Let's do this. Let's go ahead and roll some video for you because earlier, nine year old Braden Robles and his family came here to do some trick or treating. His mom heard about this famous house and the famous maze from a neighbor, and they wanted to go through the maze for the first time. So they got a little bit of a toned down version of the experience because they are younger kids. Uh, one of the ghouls popped out from a secret door, and here's how nine year old Braden Robles experienced it and here's what he had to say. Brayden, tell me how that experience was. Let's show some that of the costumes. That was fun. Like, that was probably the scariest haunted house I've ever been in. You see that? What's that's your that? favorite part? Um, probably the guy in the coffin. Yeah. I like that part. So you see that dad there in the uh, astronaut costume with his son who has a matching costume. Certainly a lot of cute costumes out here. So because we are here at Pat, we should give you an experience. So we're going to go ahead and walk through uh, the maze. Uh, just a party of two, if we may. So as you can see, uh, as the sun is coming down, there's a lot of uh, noise going through. It's almost like sensory overload, if you will. You've got strobe lights coming through as well. As, uh, oh dear. Hey, how you doing? As uh, well as this girl <laughs> popping out from the uh, secret door out here. And as you're coming through these uh, very tight, Pat, I hear you, I hear you. And you've got another goal up here. Oh this my. is my new pal, little oh selfie my moment. Goodness. Oh my God, I have a feeling the station is going to put this on YouTube. Uh, we're going to go ahead and walk through and you've got Dracula over here, my friend. You know, Jeff, those are your buddies now. The owner now. is expecting about 2,000 <laughs> 2, people coming through. Another <laughs> very sadistic <laughs> nun, if you will. The wait here for 2,000 people should be about 10 minutes at its peak. Hey, how you doing? Uh, the entire experience is expected, <laughs> Pat, to last about 30 seconds. I'm kind of dragging it out. These guys are playing panic eggs, if you will. Oh, A lot of tight turns. And really? The main feature here are some of the chainsaws. Oh, here's, some of it. here's another oh. uh, trap door that pops out. The clown from It. That would have been so it for you can me. hear that. This is what sends a lot of people running. We're told face. that it's typically the men <laughs> who go bolting out of here, and some of them actually push their wives or girlfriends in front of them as a human shield, if you can believe it or not. So, as much as you are enjoying this on TV, Pat, oh. I can hear your laughter and your response. <laughs> Folks at home, if you want to uh, experience this, it is in Northridge at the corner of Osborne and Encino. <laughs> Uh, it is kicking off right now a whole lot of fun. We should tell you it's very important that the owner of the home is a former law enforcement <laughs> officer, so he is making sure that it is a very safe experience. Uh, not only does he have people working that maze, but he's got <laughs> friends like uh, this gentleman out here making sure that no one darts into the street and that uh, traffic moves very slowly and safely. Whole and that the ghouls I'm behave. Drop the mic and go back and do it one more time, Pat. Well, you know what? Let me send it back to you. you you're so 